today we're watching 10 animals that can live after they die. How is that even possible? I don't even know. See, if I took my fist and I shoved it down Alex's throat, he would die and he wouldn't be able to live. But these animals can exist even after that. At number one, we have everybody's favorite bug, a cockroach. Love me I some cockroaches. These tiny little bugs would make this list. Uh, cockroaches are infamous roach. for their tenacity and are often cited as I would the never most hold that roach. That roach is disgusting. War. Some even claim they can live without their heads. Well, surprise, what? surprise. They can live without their heads. In fact, they can go on living for two weeks. Huh? To understand how these bugs can survive decapitation, first we must understand how we fragile humans couldn't. First of all, humans bleed. Fun when a us. man's head comes off, he bleeds a lot. Cockroaches Only don't a have man. that problem, though. They have an open circulatory system, which translates to little huh? to no blood pressure. Wow. So if their head pops off, the wound just closes naturally due to clotting. And secondly, and probably I think Adam's a cockroach. Humans don't have a brain. A very important part of our body, our dumb. brain. And without it, humans will not function. Eating, drinking, and breathing are all impossible without the head. But <laughs> no. cockroaches, on the other hand, don't need their heads to breathe, as they do this process through little holes located on their bodies, called spiracles. Although a headless cockroach will die of starvation eventually, it's gonna take them weeks for them to do so. What? Number nine. I would not want to be a cockroach at oh. all. That sounds so horrible. So if, if you could find a way to feed a cockroach that doesn't have a head on it, it'll live. It'll keep living. Living. Who would head. ever want a cockroach in their lives? Period. Cockroaches are disgusting. <laughs> bees. Bees? This might sound like no. a cop out to you. No. no, bees die and they stay dead. However, there is a reason why they appear on this list. Because even though a bee might be dead, it can still sting you. Not in the way that you think, of course. What? Dead bees obviously can't like go flying gulag. around and actively sting you. They're that their stinging parts, and more importantly, the venom delivery system will still work <laughs> even if the bee is not <laughs> dead. <laughs> when a bee stings, the sting detaches from its, it's like body, leaving it embedded scene. into the skin of its victim. Attached to the sting is a tiny organ that both contains the bee venom and a tiny muscle that pulls oh, I, the venom I don't out. like that up close. Oh, like, I really did not need to ever see that. Oh, these, these actions oh, are not no, controlled by the simple this. brain, but rather by involuntary impulses. So if you think that you're safe ew, picking up a dead ew, bee, think it again. pooped on him. Number eight. So okay. if you pick up a dead bee, oh, it can still sting chickens. You. My oh. my brother actually stepped on a dead bee before and got stung by it, and his whole foot went. Oh. Psh, he oh, stepped is on he a allergic dead bee. So it lives bees? on as like as a ghost, pretty much. It's like the stinger. Well, it's not. Yeah, it's not technically living. It's kind of just like an involuntary like thing, trap. right? Like it's it kind of just like it's like yeah, and then it just stings you even if the bee's dead. At number eight, we have chickens. Chicken. Oh, no, oh yeah, they can live without their head. I thought that was like, like a, a just a second. Yeah, that, that, that's a myth. That's a myth. Yeah, ask oh. any farmer and they'll tell you. Chickens can still run around with their heads cut off. Oh, and there's okay, a very simple a reason for this. Why does it? It's not because chickens are How? zombies. Why is that so common? No, the reason is, believe it or not, human error. This error happens to be a butcher's error, to be more specific. Oh. You see, a chicken's central nervous system is very different from us humans. Some no basic sense. bodily functions are controlled not by the brain itself, but by certain parts of the brain's stem. So, what does this all mean? Well, the butcher chomps a chicken's head to high, most of the time it's just the forebrain of the chicken that comes off with its head, leaving the brain stem and the cerebellum quite intact. In fact, if the butcher also misses the jugular, not only will the chicken continue to move, it sometimes can still breathe. Of course, it eventually uh, starves to death. What? But there How? was one special case that a chicken survived what? 18 whole months without its head. What? What? Hold 18 on, I gotta look that up. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Look that chicken up, Jack. Fact check that. Fact check that right head now. How many months? 18 what? months without a head. Oh my gosh. Yeah, Mike the Headless Chicken. It's a real thing. It literally did not have a head. <laughs> what the heck? How did he eat? I they guess, just, like, I drop guess they like. Food down his throat? Yeah, they, I, I guess it was just like, boop. They He's just like a little fishing well. That is what kind of heck? awesome. That's like my favorite animal story ever, I think. Mike the Headless Chicken. <laughs> he lived for 18 months without a head. Oh, every time I play Pokemon, if I ever pick Torchic as my starter, that's yeah, my new name for the it. The only Mike. more amazing story is the, the story about Alec Dries who lived 25 years without a brain. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God, dude. I actually think I saw CNN report on that. That was Alec, crazy. Jack, fact check me. Fact check me. That's it's, me. Oh, let's see. It's true. It's true. Okay. It's true. I knew it. I knew it. All right. Let's look it at is number true. seven. It is true. It is true. Verse seven. He will, he'll forget anything. The octopus. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that you've seen videos online where an octopus, after being chopped up, continues to move. In fact, in certain Those Asian countries, alien. eating fresh octopus is a deadly delicacy. It's not really the octopus that survives after being chopped up, oh. but rather eight wily arms that continue to move about. Oh. 
And it's oh. these eight arms that usually get stuck in someone's throat, resulting into a what? very bad day. Oh. The reason why oh. octopuses' arms maintain mobility <laughs> oh, even after God. being chopped oh. off is Who quite would know? It's Who because their central nervous stuff? system is I mean, quite come unique. On. You see, most of an octopus's nerve cells, two out of three of them in fact, can be found not in the brain where you would expect them to be, but rather in its tentacles. And these arms can continue reacting to stimuli even if they are no understand. longer connected they have to the brain. Inner tentacles. Wow. In fact, they remain responsive well, just, yeah, even nervous after the system. octopus has been long dead and the arms suffered. Researchers in St. George University in London conducted extensive experiments on this phenomenon. After the animals were euthanized, their arms were removed and kept in chilled seawater for up to an hour until they were ready for experimentation. Some arms were suspended vertically, and others were laid out horizontally. They then pinched them. The suspended arms recoiled from the unpleasant stimulus by shortening and curling <laughs> in a corkscrew shape within one second. Horizontal arms also moved away from the undesirable stimuli. Oh, that's they so then creepy. Worms. sort of contrived joint toward the top. Oh my god. Yeah, These that makes me uncomfortable. For a that's week after the me out, dude. How are people just eating those things? Number six. That's so weird. That's so, so, so weird, dude. I can't see myself doing that. I don't, I don't think I would do it. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Comment down below if you'd eat that thing if it was squirming around like a worm. I want to say I would try one just for the culture, but ah, I don't think I could do it. I know. Yeah, I, I imagine it inside of your mouth moving around. But I mean, Alec has eaten a worm before, yeah, so it's kind of the same Imagine if it survived, thing. Alec, and like you're trying to poop it out. It's like, you know? Oh, you think it'll <laughs> still you, be alive? Then, like, right, I gotta like try this. It's gotta gonna be this. alive when it comes out of his butt. <laughs> oh my god, that'd be crazy. Salamanders. Oh. I knew it. Okay, kind of similar to of an octopus. continue to live even after apparent death, you'll be hard-pressed not to include the salamander. This salamander. animal has always been synonymous to long life and immortality. It's even revered awesome. by people that thing who is believe skinny. in magic, believing that the amazing regenerative powers of this animal can be considered paranormal. Salamanders have the uncanny ability to regenerate any part of its body that has been chopped off. Oh. More amazingly, these regrown parts actually function the same as, or in some cases, even better than the original parts. This is mainly because of a special Whoa, protein cool. found in salamanders, which facilitates the replication of cells. This protein can also be found in humans, but in smaller quantities, and they help us heal They're from like our Piccolo. wounds. So does this mean that we can soon regenerate severed limbs? Wait, that's no, we're not quite there yet. Piccolo can do but that too. But scientists are continuing to study salamanders and how their unique ability can benefit humans in the future. Number five. Frogs. Number five, we got frogs. It has been discovered that frogs, frogs! continue to move around even when they're brain dead. Ribbit. Or to put it more oh, accurately, yeah, I've heard about that. brain missing. This experiment was brought about when scientists discovered reports of various headless animals continuing to move about. That's very impressive on its own, but let's face it, there's only so much any creature without a head can do. So what happens if you leave the frog's head intact, but take out its brain, you ask? Well, thanks to the huh? let's chop out its brain and see what the hell happens approach to science taken hey. by 19th century neurologist David Ew. Ferrier, we can tell I didn't like that. A headed but brainless frog actually behaves very similarly to a frog with its gray matter perfectly intact. That's, if you turn it upside down, it will ride itself. I guess they have a pretty small Are you serious? Put it in water, it will swim. Wait, so they can just happen. survive without their brain? Yeah, I think the brain, away all, it'll even the, the, the brain does nothing. Back. No way. Yeah. The brain just there the for show. The fact that results in frog zombie-like tendencies is the power of the reflex reaction, which fires the necessary electrical impulses that cause a muscle to expand or contract. Number four. That was crazy. Flies. So it literally doesn't think you at all. You probably see David Blaine resurrect dead no, flies no. just by touching them. And no, this is not oh. because the magician really has supernatural powers. Flies can survive freezing temperatures and go into some kind of suspended oh, animation. Yeah. Yes, what yes, true. What you see David true. doing is thawing the frozen fly <laughs> you using You gotta say yes, body. true, like you're a scientist. No, I've heard of oh, this. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, yeah. People, no. people capture flies, put them in the freezer with a string t attached to yeah, them. Yeah, and then they have a pet fly. And then fly. They, they let them melt, and then, and then they have them. a pet fly. Yeah, you can literally Actually, have a whole army of flies. I've, I've seen people do that before. But what does that have to do with being headless? Oh, we know. I guess it's just... No, yeah, they didn't mention anything about being headless. Oh, yeah, just being half a duck. I see. It's just like, yeah, pretty much they go into like a like a coma. So I guess being in a coma is. I mean, they they don't technically die, right? They're not dead. I don't that, know. Alex proving my point right now, by the way. When the insect fully thaws, the fly then flies away. But this amazing ability to survive freezing temperatures is fly. not why the humble fly makes it to this list. Humble Female fly. flies will live for several days after they have been decapitated. Such oh, beheaded wait, females assume heads. an upright stance comparable to that of a normal fly, what and can heck? do and engage in complex actions such as preening, flying, and under duress, walking. What? More amazingly, Yo, what is males walking? will court decapitated females. That's right, chop off a female fly. How does that even happen? Not much changes, really. 
Oh, if anything, dude, I don't like the, the close-ups of flies. Human -like. Yeah, they're nasty. Ew. The males still want they to have like sex with things. her, while she in turn treats their sexual advances as noxious foreign stimuli. Number three. Number three, baby. Turtle. Why turtle? The hearts of fish, I don't reptiles, believe this. birds, and mammals think alike have their heads, own pacemaker cells that take over when the signals from the brainstem are not coming through for some reason. I like turtles. Which ensures that the heart still functions for a while, even when the brain does not. Dude, all the these animals can live without their flipping brain. Wild to a whole new level. And this is because, from their heart's viewpoint, being cut off from the oxygen and nutrients usually supplied oh by no. the blood is just a normal day at the office. Oh, I want a turtle. Actually. Because these oh, yeah, animals true. can die for a long time. Oh. How long? They'll try 5,000 hours in the case of the what? loggerhead musk turtle. Yeah, you huh? heard no. that right. That was a five followed by three zeros, and they survived. Wait, that how long is that even possible? Oxygen they can take up from the water via their skin, throat, and butt. Wow. End, as well as their body's amazing potential. They for breathe through their butt. Without oxygen. <laughs> Pretty their much. Have their own fuel I thought I was the only one that did that. Up until every last fill up of that has been used up. <laughs> now it's time for the day's best pick. Today That's we're going to focus on an animal wait, 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 so wait, 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 ferocious guys, guys, it can still kill you. I have a, a prediction of who I think is going to be number one. It just, oh. I just clicked with me now. I think there's an octopus. It's some sea creature that can <laughs> live forever. Um, the, forever. Like the, no, 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 yeah, 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 you're right, you're right. No, it's the immortal jellyfish. There's like jellyfish, jellyfish. that never die. That's what, it was jellyfish or something like that. I think it's yeah, going to be- I don't know if they're still like, like dead though when they you know, continue to live. When I split a worm in half, it like, it starts- it starts Alright, let's continue the video. Okay. It could be a worm, it could be a jellyfish. I like jellyfish, though. Thank you. That was my honestly. own original idea. Didn't have Number two. Know. We got snake. Snakes. People's this is very similar to salamanders. A highly venomous snake can be boiled down into three categories. Ooh, Running away, freezing on the spot, out. and oh god, kill it. Chop it down. I don't like that. I don't While like that. That is morbious. That looked like it was, it was morbid everywhere. Bitten, <laughs> the truth is that that may not be the case. A snake's head, a vessel for its fangs, oh and my god. Sacks, Whoa. still have the ability nah, to bite that's not real. and deliver there's no way. Venom, even if it's nah, no there's no way that's real. The there's no body. way that's real. The snake has heat-sensitive pits at either nah. side of its face, mm. which it uses to detect Dude, there's threats. no way. And let's Yo! face it, if you're close there's to your no body way. to be detected, you're close enough to be considered a threat. It's based on body heat? These heat-sensitive pits are capable of detecting on a it. threatening presence for hours after death, which means the snake may continue to defend itself, zombie style. And yes, this even applies that the body is no longer attached. The best for last. Wait, what's going on? What's going on right now? Who is this? Who is this? Who is this new guy? I'm going to one. I'm going to one. Oh, I got it! Flatworm. It was a worm. It was a worm. Okay, that, that is a I huge worm. Are you familiar with it's the old a worm. That is, a, that is the biggest way. Why is that worm so big? That if you cut an earthworm in half, two earthworms will form from the severed halves. Of course, this has since been proven to be completely hokum. However, oh. substitute the earthworm with a hey, flatworm, Adam. and then this old wise yeah, story suck it, Adam. a very suck it. disturbing story. I'm as close to Flatworms, or planarians, are known as are masters of regeneration. Ew. They can rebuild any part Ew, of their bodies that's after real? amputation. If one is cut in half, the head portion grows a tail, and the tail portion grows a head. Why is it twenty pieces and twenty new so they worms, multiply. each an exact yeah, copy of the first, it if are you created? Cut wow! Wait, so you this has right. been exploited by Nottingham University scientists, who have created a colony of more than twenty thousand worms. What? And guess what? They're all from one original, whose body what? and organs do that not is... appear to age. Dude, Absolutely, they insane. are confident Dude. a single. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. That is incredible. If you guys enjoyed that video, want to see another amazing video, just like it. Click this video right here. Do it! Click it! You guys should do it! Wow, that was incredible! Do it!